victory. DJ, what's up, everybody? Cool. All right. I just want to let y'all know that I know that I'm the only race to get in here. <laughs> I also want to let y'all know that I already text my cousins. <laughs> I don't send them a K every 10 minutes and shit will happen. <laughs> and I just want to let the white people here know that if some shit does happen, like I'm on their side. <laughs> There's a white guy over there, the little midget was right, you fucking right. I'm just saying, if some shit happens, I'm on their side. Until the cops come. Well, when the cop comes, I'm gonna be on your side. I'm just saying, I saw everything. I only kicked him twice, I swear to God. Oh my God, man. Uh, my name is Juan, I'm from Houston. I'm not an illegal, but I do have illegal uncles and cousins that live here. And because I'm patriotic and I was in the military, I already addressed them. I had to go tell them. I told my uncle, like, hey, deal. there's a lot of crazy shit going on. I just wanted to know if something happens, you know. And he's like, what do you mean? Like, I just wanted to know I was born here. And, you know, you're, you're illegal. You've been here for a lot of years. You've been a great worker and a good provider. But if some shit happens, you know, I'm on, I'm on this side. <laughs> So, so what are you trying to say? I said, shit, fucker. If some shit happens, I'm gonna come by and I'm about to shoot you. <laughs> you're illegal, fucker, you're breaking the law. Like, I'm not gonna be a dick, cause, cause you're my uncle and I love you, I'll give you two days. I'll call you like, like the ring, hey, two days. But if I come back on the third day and you're still here, fucker, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Tell you how patriotic I am. You're gonna shoot your cousins too, like, if they're here. They're here. But his name is Jesus. I, I know, I've never shot at Jesus before, but hey, if I have to, I got like 17 illegal cousins named Jesus, like something like that. One of them was living next door to me, and my cousin, you know what I mean, he lives there, so we were kind of cool. My friend Larry, a white guy, cool guy, my, one of my best friends, picks me up, he was my supervisor at the time. And he's like, hey, come on, Juan, get in the car. So we're going, we're leaving, and he sees my neighbor walk out, and he's like, look, Juan, that's Jesus. And I'm like, yeah, and we're smoking the door. He's like, that's cool, fucker, you live next door to Jesus. And I was like, yeah, I live next door to Jesus. He's like, that's cool, man. And then he goes, hey, what if that was like the real Jesus? Wouldn't that be cool? And I'm smoking the door, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> No, what if that was like the son of God, like the real Jesus? You wouldn't like that? I'm like, I'm not. Like, I'm not a bad person. I don't do bad things, but I smoke a little weed. But if Jesus is your neighbor, you can't really do that. You can't be in a backyard barbecue and watching a football game. If I, he doesn't, it goes Jesus. It goes Jesus. Put it up, put it up, bro. We're going to go to hell, man. On a Sunday. I'm on probation, man. I can't go to hell today. Why can't I report Monday, fucker? Like, just think about it. Like, like we love Jesus. We'll go to church and praise Him for 20 years, but we don't want to live next door to Him. That, that, that's a lot of pressure. Like I said, I didn't do bad things, but I stole cable. And for the Jesus is your neighbor, you can steal cable. Or just, we had cable in my neighborhood in the 70s, you know, in the 80s when it first came out. My neighborhood was poor, we all looked out for each other. My neighborhood, if one house in a block had cable, shit, the whole neighborhood. Had cable. My dad would come out because we were some splicing motherfuckers. My dad would just come out with the camera. I gotta go eight blocks with tape, I gotta go eight blocks. <laughs> you drive down my street, you can hear this cable everywhere. But I'm not bad, but if Jesus is your neighbor, I mean, come on, fucker. If you cut your grass, if Jesus is your neighbor and you cut your grass, you're going to have to cut his too. Think about that. Because neighbors, I don't know what, what it is about neighbors, but neighbors don't cut neighbors' grass. Even in the houses that are like kind of close to each other, a neighbor will not fucking hit like, oh, that's his shit right there. I ain't cutting it. The, the lot of them are going to be fighting. No. Like, I got it, Jesus! <laughs> um, for, 
birthday, for his birthday, I'm gonna get him a long one. That's all right. I ain't doing this every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this thing about it, have Jesus. Just think, if you're at home with your wife, you've been married for 30 years in your house. Your kids have graduated, they're doing their own thing, you're married. You're alone with your wife in your house, watching TV. And then your wife just starts kissing you. You're like, what are you doing, baby? Like, shut up, I'm gonna give you a treat. And if you've been married for 30 years and you give them, that's a treat for them. So she's doing that. It's nothing bad, that's your wife. 30 years, your house, and she goes down there, and she's getting comfortable, and now you're getting comfortable, getting relaxed, and then you look on your porch, and there's Jesus looking in the window, like, get up, get up. Now he's right there, he saw it. And it was in your mouth, he saw it, it was in your mouth. I told you we got to go to security light or a dog or something. Man. I think he walked across the pool. That's my pool. That's my pool. He can't be walking across my pool, man. I think if Jesus was my neighbor, I would make him my friend. Just to piss off people. I would ride around in the car with Jesus. All my friends would be like, look, look, here goes Juan. He thinks he's all bad because he's riding with Jesus. He's still going to hell. I would love to get pulled over by the cops when you put Jesus in the car. Can you imagine that? I'm messing it. I'm sitting in the car, the cop walks over there. Hey, buddy, he's going down. You got some insurance? You got Jesus in the car. Like, <laughs> Jesus got to fix his hair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jesus. I didn't even know that was you, man. I take that and I say, what's up, Jesus? I go ahead and walk To the park to piss off my black friends. Oh. Yep, we we'll play basketball. I will take them. My black friends be there, like, cool, man. He come on. Yeah. He... Oh man, he brought Jesus. <laughs> he brought Jesus, man. Put, put the weed up. He brought Jesus, man. Tell him something. Tell him something. Like, I got this. I'm gonna tell him something. What's up, Juan? What's up, Jesus? Hey, Juan, come here, man. Come here, man. Like, what's up? Man, why you gotta bring Jesus all the time? That's some bullshit. Why you gotta bring Jesus to play ball? I'm like, he wants to play ball, man. What's the problem? Like, Come on, man. Who's gonna block Jesus, one? Who's gonna steal the ball from Jesus? That's a commandment, one. Ain't nobody gonna steal from Jesus. Well, give him some tennis shoes then. Cause he didn't send those, all that sliding and shit. That's childish. I'm gonna call that. Hey, y'all enjoy the night. I gotta go, buddy. My man, what? Do your thing, baby. He texted all his cousins. Y'all better go check y'all hub camps right now. <laughs> For his birthday, for his birthday, I'm gonna get him a long one. That's all right. I am doing this every weekend. Just think about it, have Jesus. Just think, if you're at home with your wife, you've been married for 30 years in your house. Your kids have graduated, they're doing their own thing, they're married. You're alone with your wife in your house, watching TV. And then your wife just starts kissing you. You're like, what are you doing, baby? Like, shut up, I'm gonna give you a treat. And if you've been married for 30 years and you give him, mm, that's a treat for me. So she's doing that. It's nothing bad, that's your wife. 30 years, your house, and she goes down there and she's getting comfortable, and now you're getting comfortable, getting relaxed, and then you look on your porch and there's Jesus looking in the window. Like, get up, get up. Now he's right there, he saw it. And it was in your 